China has decided to lift its travel ban on group tours to a total of 78 countries, including South Korea. Seoul welcomes the move, hoping to bring Chinese group tours back to the country after more than six years since the so-called THAAD retaliation. Kim Mogan reports. For the first time in six years and five months, the Chinese government has given the green light for group tours to South Korea. In an announcement made on Thursday, China's culture ministry lifted its ban on group tours to 78 countries, which also includes the U.S. and Japan. It explained that its previous decisions to ease travel restrictions in January and March this year had a positive impact on its tourism industry. At that time, China was allowing group travel to a total of 60 countries following a decision to scrap its zero-COVID measures. However, South Korea was not on the list, with group tours to Korea banned from March 2017 in an apparent retaliation for the country's deployment of the U.S.-made Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or the THAAD system. The South Korean government welcomes the move, saying it will launch efforts to attract more Chinese tourists. Seoul's culture ministry says it expects the latest announcement to bring life back to the nation's tourism industry, which was hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. To make things more convenient, the government plans to open new visa application centers in Beijing and Shenyang. It had already began resuming its no-visa transfer system for Chinese group tourists to Jeju Island in May. Meanwhile, procedures for Korean tourists applying for Chinese visas will also be simplified. Until the end of 2023, Korean people heading to China for tourism and travel purposes will no longer be required to provide fingerprints. Kim Mo-gyan, Arirang News.